In this recording, I'm going to take a look at the Audacity audio recording and editing program. The tutorial assumes that you've already downloaded Audacity and installed it on your computer. So let's take a look now. I'm going to open up the Audacity program from my desktop. There are three main features that I'd like to point out using Audacity. The first is the record button. The second is the stop button and the third is the play button. Although Audacity will allow you to do a number of different things, for the most part we want to be able to make a recording, quickly edit out any mistakes, and then turn that file into an mp3 file for uploading to a website or a blog or a podcast. So let's start by hitting record. You'll notice that once I hit record, the audio shows up on the play line and then if I hit stop I can go back and review what I've just recorded by hitting play. So when I hit play I can actually hear the audio being played back and then I'm going to hit stop again. If I'm happy with that recording I could actually go ahead and produce it but I would probably want to make a few small edits so one thing I can do is I can click and drag on the timeline and highlight a section where there's a pause and I might just delete that. Another thing that I might do is rearrange the order of a recording. So I might cut that recording piece out, put the recording at another, put the scrub bar at another point and then paste that section in so now I'm reversing the order and then I also might want to add to the recording and what I recommend doing is finding the end of your play line and clicking so that the play uh, scrub bar is there and then clicking the record button again and you'll notice that the recording starts where I left off rather than placing the recording directly below what I had just recorded and the problem with that is that you end up with um, overwriting and the audio getting kind of jumbled up. I could then take this audio clip and move it up to the main line or I can just leave these alone and when I produce the audio it will actually get blended together into one final piece. If I'm completely dissatisfied with some of the audio that I've done I can just come over here to the little X and click on it and then that will delete that particular line or audio track. I'm not going to get too much into the different editing features as far as adjusting volume, adding effects, and so forth, other than to say that those are all options in Audacity. The main thing at this point I want to show is saving your file. So the first thing that you'll want to do is go to File and Save Project As. You'll want to save your project file so that you can get back to it and edit it again later if you decide you want to make changes. So you'll get a little warning saying that that particular file can only be accessed using the Audacity player. This is not for letting others listen to your file. This is only for saving the file to your computer. So I recommend creating a folder perhaps in your My Documents, maybe under um, your music, etc where you're going to record those. So I'll just click and create a quick folder here. Maybe Audacity Files. I'm going to name the file. Just call it Test. I'm going to open that. And then save that file. But again, this is not how you would save the file so that others can listen to it. In order to do that, you'll probably want to turn it into an MP3 file. I'll click on File again and then go down and I'm going to click on the Export as MP3. Audacity does not allow you to cre create MP3 files by default and requires you to install a small file called LAME. This lame file can be downloaded from the Audacity site. It needs to be installed on your computer and then the first time that you make the recording into an MP3 file, you'll have to tell it where you've stored that file. So I've already downloaded the lame file and you'll see 
I'm going to get a message here that I need to download the lame file and install it and then locate that file on my computer. So I'm going to click yes and then I'm going to go and browse for it. In this case it is in my program files and then click on the lame file and click open. This will now allow me to make mp3 files using Audacity and you only have to locate the lame file one time. I'm then asked if I want to edit the ID3 tags. These are all the different this is all the different information that you would see if you're using an MP3 player and it shows the title and the artist, the album, etc. Most of the time I usually skip this step, but if you are into tagging your audio files for use on an MP3 player, feel free to do that. So I'm just going to click OK. And now that MP3 file is going to get rendered you'll see that there will be an actual rendering bar on the computer and once that file is done wherever I've decided to store that file it will be ready as an mp3 file which I can then email to someone upload to a website or a blog share out using a podcasting service etc so that's the basics of using audacity making a recording and converting that recording into an mp3 file